Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Whoa, I heard a testimony and you have got to hear this. There was a woman who went to hell. Mm. Now, I want to share this. This was a woman who was a die-hard Buddhist. She was being talked to by her family members, by her granddaughter. No matter what anybody said, she did not want to hear it. She just knew what she knew and that was that. That was the end of the subject case. Close, leave her alone. <clears throat> years, years of this going on. She did not believe in all that God and Jesus stuff. Did not want to hear it. Now, they turned around and they got a phone call. She got deathly sick and she's being taken to the hospital. Mm. She's in the hospital dying. Check this out. Die hard Buddhist. Would not hear anything anybody had to say. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ah, this was crazy. Now, what this woman did was she got worse and worse, sicker and sicker, deader and deader, till she was completely dead. No turning back now, she's dead. But guess what? God have had another plan. She died, I forget how long, but she was dead in the hospital. And she came back. And when she came back, check this out. For those of you disbelievers, for those of you doubting Thomases, check this out. She came back and said, she had gone to hell. She had seen the flames, all the stuff she didn't believe in. I don't even know she heard about hell, but she was a diehard Buddhist. And here she doesn't meet Buddha, right? She doesn't meet uh, all that's associated with that particular faith. No. She runs smack dab in the center of hell. And the fear, the flames, and what was even worse, the family members that had died before her who were in hell. Ah. Oh. Anyway, to make a long story short, girlfriend got escorted back to the land of the living. And when she came back, her whole family witnessed the change. She was a different woman. She was a die hard born again Christian. Forget the Buddha stuff. That was history. She knew the truth. And she's running around telling everybody, woman got healed, everything. She's telling everybody she can that Jesus is real. Hell is real. This is not the time to play. This is not the time for Russian roulette. Please, I beg you, that's Pat's two cents here. I beg you, reconsider that decision of yours to chuck the whole Christian thing out because you might be chucking out your only chance of escape. He said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. So knowing that he is the way, the truth, and the life, even if you don't believe it, feel him out, talk to him, pour your heart out to him, even if you think you're talking to the air, before you go and make another choice. Because everything else you're picking on, everything else you're looking at, you're considering, was man-made. The only one that made everything that was made is God. Why ignore him? 
If you're willing to believe in some of these other things you're willing to believe in, which are even far more um, imaginary than anything than, than God is, come on, think about it now. Think about it. Some of the things, you'll sit there and put plants and food and fruit in front of a statue that was made by a man, made by hand. That statue can't get up off that pedestal. He can't do a doggone thing for you. You'd rather believe in superstition than believe in a real God. Oh, I don't think so. You can take your chances if you want, but I beg you to reconsider. Amen.